We've just completed two and a half weeks of survey work up here in the Kimberley, working from roughly White Island, which is sort of the boundary between the Bonaparte and the Buccaneer Archipelago, northward up to around about Jamison Reef, and we have had some fantastic weather, which has also allowed us to get all the way out to the mid shelf, out to Browse, Yachuca, and Haywood Shoals. And this has allowed us to when we finally finish the project, we'll be able to do a really nice cross-shelf comparison between the inshore Kimberley out to the oceanic atolls of Scott, Syringa, and Patam and down as far as the Rolly Shoals. So for this trip alone, we've covered about an, almost 30 stations, which is what we average on most trips. We are now up to station number 121 overall for the project. And by the end of the project in 2014, we're hoping to have done about 180 stations, which is not bad when you look at the coverage and the, the distance we have to cover. If you were to measure the distance between the top of Cape Levique to the WA Northern Territory border, you'll find it's around about 12,500 kilometres. That's around all the bays and the islands, which is what we really have to work when we're doing our diving. The scientists on board have done a fantastic job looking at the corals, soft corals, sponges, crustaceans, and all the other groups, including marine plants and water quality. There's been an awful lot of work done any one dive, any one reef walk entails 14 people on the reef at any one time and it's a, it's a huge effort. The boat's been fantastic getting us to all the places where we need to go and none of this would have been possible without the support of Woodside Energy and the WA Museum and all the partner agencies such as the Queensland Museum, Victoria Muse Museum, Australian Museum, Museum Art Gallery of the Northern Territory, Curtin University and the Hibiru of WA. We'd all very much like to thank Woodside Energy for their support.